Tian, Jinyang, is the capital and largest city of North China's Shaanxi province. It is one of the main manufacturing bases of China. Throughout its long history, Tian was the capital or provisional capital of many dynasties in China, hence the name Longkeng. Etymology and names The two Chinese characters of the city's name are a, ta -y, great and a -y, u -a -n, plain, referring to the location where the Fen River leaves the mountains, and enters a relatively flat plain. Throughout its long history, the city had various names, including Ba Zhau, is derived, Ja Nyong and La Cubed Ngcha copyright Ng. During the Tang Dynasty and subsequent five dynasties, the status of the city of Tian was elevated to be the northern capital, hence the name Beidou, and Beijing. History Tian is an ancient city with more than 2,500 years of urban history, dating back from 497 BC. It was the capital or provisional capital of Xu, former Qian, Eastern Wei, Northern Qi, Northern Jin, later Tang, later Jin, later Han, Northern Han. Its strategic location and rich history make Tian one of the economic, political, military, and cultural centers of northern China. Equals pre Qian dynasty history equals from about 859 BC the area around modern day Tian was occupied by the Rong people. In 662 BC the Rong were driven out by the Di people. During the spring and autumn period, the state of Jin emerged to the south of Tian. In 541 BC, the Jin army led by General Zun Wu, drive out the Di tribes, and Tian became part of the state of Jin. In 497 BC I one quarter of the first ancient city of Jinyang was built around the southern Jinawan district of present-day Tian, by Dong Anayu who was a steward of Tso Jianzi, an upper-level official of the state of Jin, during the Battle of Jinyang in 453 BC, Zi Yao diverted the flow of the Fen River to inundate the city of Jinyang, caused significant damage to the Tso. Later, Tso Xiangzi alerted Wei and Han, who both decided to ally with Tso. On the night of May 8, 453 BC, Tso troops broke the dams of the Fen River and let the river flood the Zi armies, and eventually annihilated the Zi army, with the help from Wei and Han. After the tripartition of Jin in 403 BC, the state of Jin, then a strong power in northern China, was divided into three smaller states of Han, Tso and Wei. Jinyang, was chosen as the capital of Tso, by Tso Ji. Later, the capital of Tso was moved to Handan. Equals Qian Dynasty equals, in 248 BC, the state of Qian attacked Tso under General Mingai, and obtained the area around Jinyang from Tso. Qian set up the commandery of Tian, with the city of Jinyang as its administrative center. Although, the name Tian had appeared in historic records before, potentially referring to different regions in nowadays southern and central Shaanxi, this was the first time Tian was officially used to refer to present-day Tian. In 246 BC, there was an uprising in Jinyang, and it was quickly quelled by Mingai. In 221 BC, Qian conquered the rest of China, and officially started the first imperial dynasty of China. Qian established 36 commanderies on its territory, and Tian was one of them. Equals and dynasty and three kingdoms equals, in 202 BC, Emperor Ganozu Liu Bang established the Han dynasty. During that period, the administrative system of commanderies in Qian dynasty was abolished, the two commanderies of Tian and Yunmen were combined as the vassal state of Han under the rule of King Xin of Han. Later, King Xin of Han moved the capital from Jinyang to Meili with the approval from the Emperor Gaozu. However, King Xin of Han conspired with the Xiaonu against Gaozu, and attacked Han for many years. In 196 BC, King Xin of Han was killed after he lost a battle and the vassal state of Han was replaced by the vassal state of Dai, with Jinyang as the administrative center of Dai. In 178 BC, Dai was further divided into two vassal states, Dai and Tian, with Tian ruling the previous commandery of Tian of Qian dynasty. In 114 BC, the vassal state of Dai was abolished, and the commandery of Tian was re-established with the administrative center at Jinyang. In 106 BC, 
Emperor Wu of Han administratively divided China into 13 Zul. Tian was part of Bing Zul. During the tumultuous Three Kingdoms, the population of Tian decreased significantly due to constant warfares. Tian was ruled by Gongsun Zan, Yuan Shou, and then by Cao Cao, and was part of Cao Wei afterwards. Equals Jin Dynasty and Sixteen Kingdoms equals, during the Jin Dynasty, Tian was again changed into a vassal state. Following the ending of the Jin Dynasty, ethnic minority peoples settled a series of short-lived sovereign states in northern China, commonly referred to as Sixteen Kingdoms. Tian was part of former Tso, later Tso, former Qian, former Yan, former Qian again, Western Yan, and later Yan chronologically. In 304, Liu Yuan founded the Xiao New State of former Tso, whose army raided the area around Tian for years and eventually obtained Tian in 316 and 319. Tian became part of later Tso, founded by Shila. Later, Tian was obtained by former Yan in 358, and by former Qian in 370. Former Qian was founded by Fu in 351 with capital of Chang. Fu Zhan died in 384. His son Fu Pai declared himself an emperor in 385, with Jinyang as the capital. But the next year, Fu Pai was defeated by the Western Yan prince Murongyong in 386, and Tian became part of Western Yan in 394. Tian was conquered by later Yan army. Equals Southern and Northern Dynasties equals, in 386, Chobagui founded Northern Wei. In 396, Northern Wei expanded to Tian. In 543, Eastern Wei was founded by Gao Huan, with the capital at the city of Yi, and Tian is the alternative capital, where the mansion of the great chancellor Gao Huan was located. In 550, Northern Qi was founded by Gao Yang, who maintained his father Gao Huan's choice of Tian as the alternative capital. The Buddhist Tianlongshan grottoes of Tian started during this period, and continued work lasted for many centuries afterwards. In 577, Tian was conquested and became part of northern Zul. Equals Sui Dynasty equals, in 581, Emperor Wen of Sui founded Sui Dynasty. Jinyang was first the administrative center of Bing Zul, which was changed into Tian commandery. In 617, Li Yuan rose in rebellion based in Tian, and expanded quickly. Equals Tang Dynasty equals, in 618, Li Yuan founded Tang Dynasty, which is generally considered a golden age of Chinese civilization. Tian expanded significantly during the Tang Dynasty, partly because Tian was the military base of the founding emperors Li Yuan and Li Ximin. As Li Ximin wrote in 619, Tian, the base of the imperial regime and the foundation of the state. In 690, Wu Zeshan set Tian as the northern capital one of the three capitals, along with Changnan Warang, as depicted in the poem by Li Bai, A C A per mila one quarter o i, e florin one half a plus or minus a euro. In 742 AD, Emperor Xuanzong of Tang changed further to Beijing. During Tang Dynasty, the title Northern Capital to Tian had been endowed or abolished multiple times. Equals five dynasties equals, in 923, Li Kangzu, son of Li Keong, founded later Tang with capital of Danning, and soon conquered most of North China, and ended later Liang. Afterwards, Li Kangzu moved the capital from Daming to Ouang, and Tian was set as a provisional capital, titled Beijing. In 936, Xi Jintang established later Jin and Tian with the help from Katan Liao dynasty. The next year, Xi Jintang moved the capital from Tian to Wuang, and then to Kaifeng, and Tian became a provisional northern capital again. In 947, Liu Ziyuan founded later Han and Tian. Later, Liu Ziyuan moved the capital from Tian to Kaifeng, after conquered central China. Tian yet again served as a provisional northern capital. In 951, Guo Wei founded later Zhou based in Kaifeng. However, Liu Chong, a younger brother of Liu Ziyuan, rebelled, and founded northern Han, with Tian as the capital. Equals Song Dynasty equals, 
In 960, Tso Qunjian established Song Dynasty. However, Tian was still the capital of Northern Han. In 979, Song Emperor Tso Qiang started a campaign to destroy the Northern Han. He sieged the Northern Han capital of Tian for two months. Finally the leader of the Northern Han surrendered. Angered by the persistent resistance by the people of Tian, Tso Qiang ordered the flooding of Tian by releasing the Fen River, and destroyed the city. It was not until 982 that a new city was founded on the banks of the Fen River. The oldest existing building in Tian today is the Temple of the Goddess inside the Jinsai complex. It was originally built in 1023 and reconstructed in 1102. Equals Jin Dynasty equals, the Jurchen Jin Dynasty was founded in 1115, and in 1125, Tian was conquered by Jin. The same year, after the conquest of North China by Jin, the capital of Song was shifted to Linan, which marked the end of Northern Song, and the start of the Southern Song Dynasty. Equals Yuan Dynasty equals, the Mongol Empire emerged in 1206 under the leadership of Genghis Khan, and it expanded quickly. In 1218, Tian was conquested by the Mongol army led by General Macaulay. Kublai Khan established the Yuan dynasty in 1271, and the administrative area of Tian Lu was expanded. The Taoist Longshan Grottoes was built in early Yuan dynasty, initiated by Taoist monk Song Fang. Equals Ming dynasty equals, in 1368, Tzu Yuan's Hang established the Ming dynasty, and Tian was obtained from Yuan, by General Zhu Da. The Ming Dynasty installed nine military garrisons to defend the Northern Territory during the reign of the Hans He Emperor, which included the garrison of Tian. In the ending period of Ming Dynasty, the rebel leader Li Zhesheng conquered Tian, and Tian became part of Great Shan temporarily in 1644. Equals Qing Dynasty equals, in 1644. Shunzi founded the Qing dynasty and defeated the Great Shan army in Tian in the same year. In 1900 the Tian massacre occurred, when a number of Western missionaries were killed. Equals 1911 Euro 1949 equals, the warlord Yan Zishan retained control of Shanxi from the Xinhai Revolution in 1911 to the end of the Chinese Civil War in 1949. Tian consequently flourished as the center of his comparatively progressive province and experienced extensive industrial development. It was linked by rail both to the far southwest of Shaanxi and to Datong in the north. Until the end of the Chinese Civil War in 1949 Yan's arsenal in Tian was the only factory in China sufficiently advanced to produce field artillery. Because Yan succeeded in keeping Shaanxi uninvolved in most of the major battles between rival warlords that occurred in China during the 1910s and 1920s, Tian was never taken from Yan by an invading army until the Japanese conquered it in 1937. Yan was aware of the threat posed by Japanese. And, in order to defend against the impending Japanese invasion of Shaanxi, Yan entered into a secret United Front agreement with the Communists in November 1936. After concluding his alliance with the Communists he allowed agents under Zhou Enlai to establish a secret headquarters in Tian. Yan, under the slogan Resistance Against the Enemy and Defense of the Soil attempted to recruit young, patriotic intellectuals to his government from across China, so that by 1936 Tian became a gathering point for anti-Japanese intellectuals who had fled from Beijing, Tianjin, and northeast China. A representative of the Japanese army, speaking of the final defense of Tian, said that nowhere in China have the Chinese fought so obstinately. From the Japanese occupation of Tian to the Japanese surrender in 1945, the Japanese continued to develop Tian's industries and resources. After the Japanese army in Shaanxi surrendered to Yan Zishan, 10,000 Euro 15,000 Japanese troops, including both enlisted men and officers, decided to fight for Yan rather than return to Japan. Yan also retained the services of experienced and foreign educated Japanese technicians and professional staff brought into Tian by the Japanese to run the complex of industries that they had developed around Tian. Tian was the last area in Shaanxi to resist communist control during the final stages of the Chinese Civil War. The city fell on April 22, 1949, 
after the communists surrounded Taiwan and cut it off from all means of land and air supply, and taking the city required the support of 1,300 pieces of artillery. Many nationalist officers committed suicide when the city fell. The dead included Yan's nephew-in-law, who was serving as governor, and his cousin, who ran his household. Liang Huazi, the head of Yan's Patriotic Sacrifice League, had fought for years against the communists in Shaanxi until he was finally trapped in the massively fortified city of Tiwan. For six months Liang led a savage resistance, leading both Yan's remaining forces and those of the warlords thousands of Japanese mercenaries. When communist troops finally broke into the city and began to occupy large sections of it, Liang barricaded himself inside a large, fortified prison complex filled with communist prisoners. In a final act of self-sacrifice, Liang set fire to the prison and committed suicide as the entire compound burned to the ground. Geography Tiwan is one of the major industrial cities of China and lies on the Fen River in the north of its fertile upper basin. It is located in central Shaanxi and commands the north-south route through the province, as well as important natural lines of communication through the Taihang Mountains to Hebei in the east and to northern Shaanxi in the west. The city is located at the center of the province with an east-west span of 144 km and a north-south span of 107 km. Equals climate equals, Tiwan experiences a semi-arid climate. Spring is dry, with occasional dust storms, followed by early summer heat waves. Summer tends to be warm to hot with most of the year's rainfall concentrated in July and August. Winter is long and cold. But dry and sunny. Because of the aridity, there tends to be considerable diurnal variation in temperature, except during the summer. The weather is much cooler than comparable latitude cities, such as Shimaya's Huang, due to the moderately high altitude. The monthly 24 hour average temperature range from a 5.5 a degree Celsius in January to 23.4 degrees Celsius in July, while the annual mean is 9.96 a degree Celsius. With monthly percent possible sunshine ranging from 51% in July to 61% in May, there are 2,502 hours of sunshine annually. Equals environment equals, the municipality of Tiwan is 6988 kilometers 2. Tiwan has a forest area of 146,700 hectares and total grassland area of 422.5 kilometers 2 in 2007. The forest area coverage rate in the six urban districts has been increased to 21.69% in 2015. Tiwan had suffered from severe air pollution, especially in the 1990s, and the first decade of the 21st century, and it was listed among one of ten most air polluted cities in the world. Recently, the air quality has been gradually improved with increasing public awareness of air quality control and stricter and more detailed rules for pollution applied. However, according to the 2014 statistical book issued by the National Bureau of Statistics, even though no longer among the worst polluted cities in China, Tiwan still has below average ambient air quality, compared with other major Chinese cities. Administrative Divisions Demographics At the 2010 census, Tiwan Prefecture had a total population of 4,201,591 inhabitants on 6,959 km2, from whom 3,212,500 are urban on 1,460 km2. Economy In 2013, Tiwan's nominal GDP was 241.29 billion yuan, or 40.215 billion US dollars a growth of 8.1% from the previous year. Tiwan's primary, secondary, and tertiary industries were worth 3.9 billion yuan, 105.2 billion yuan, and 132.2 billion yuan respectively in 2007 Shaanxi produces a quarter of China's coal, and Tiwan is the location of the China Tiwan Coal Transaction Center, which began trading in 2012. Transportation Tiwan is one of the transportation hubs in North China, with highways linking neighboring provincial capitals, and airlines to most other major Chinese cities and some international cities. Equals in a city transportation equals, Tiwan has a convenient bus transportation system. 
The public bicycles are also very common on the streets of Tijuan. Equals air equals. The primary airport of the city is Tijuan Wusu Airport. The airport has been expanded for the landing of Airbus A380. The airport has domestic airlines to major cities including Beijing, Shanghai, and coastal cities such as Dalian. International flying service to Taipei and Da Nang is also available. Equals highway equals, since Tijuan is one of the main hubs of highway transportation, there are a lot of highways passing Tijuan, including national level expressways or highways of G5, G20, G55, G2001, G307, G108, G208, etc. Two highways on the banks of Fen River run through the center of the city. A 45-kilometer middle ring highway circling the metropolis of city of Tijuan was built in 2013. The South Sa Highway passing through central Tijuan was finished in 2015. The southern part of Tijuan, which will be the new downtown area of Tijuan, is under construction to have three east-west direction highways, South Middle Ring Street, Huazhang Street and Ingbin Road, and five north-south direction highways, West Middle Ring Street E1 Quarter OE Bin West Road, Bin East Road, Dayun Road, Jinch Road and Tai Road. The Western S56 Tijuan Jiayi Highway links Tijuan with the Western Satellite City of Jiayi. The Northern Yangtzeing Highway connects downtown Tijuan with the northern suburb of Yang County. Equals Railway equals. The newly constructed Shiraz Hyung Euro Tijuan High Speed Railway has shortened the travel time between Tijuan and Beijing to less than three hours on a distance of 600 kilometers. The main high speed railway station is Tijuan An Station. The Tijuan Euro Zongwei Euro Yinchuan Railway, opened in 2011, provides a direct connection with western Shaanxi, northern Shaanxi, Ningxia, and points west. Food Tijuan's local specialities include Tomato egg noodles, Jian Tane, contains mutton, rice wine and vegetables in the soup. This dish was first created by Chinese polymath Fu Shan, who was proficient in medicine, for his old and illness-ridden mother as a food substitute for the ancient medicine Baz Huntang using only locally available food materials that have similar effects as the original medicine. Tourism as a city rich in history, and one of the cultural centers of North China, Tijuan has a lot of museums for the tourists and locals to explore. One of the top tourist destinations is Shaanxi Museum in downtown Tijuan, which is among the largest museums in China. The Twin Towers in Yangzhuo Temple, which are featured in the, the emblem of the city, has been a symbol for the city for a long time. To the south of the city, there is the historic Jinxi Temple, which exhibits numerous wooden and metal statues, and the famous flying bridge across the fish pond, one elegantly designed architectural wonder in ancient China, and many other treasures accumulated throughout the long history of city, some can even date back to 3,000 years ago Zha dynasty. Tijuan is also home to Luxian Lane, which contains ancient Chinese houses of important heritage, the Shaanxi Folklore Museum, and the Coal Museum of China. The Chongshan Monastery, and the Longtan Park and Yingzhe Park are also popular tourist destinations. To get a taste of modern Tijuan, tourists can check out the Changfen Culture and Business District along the Fen River, which is home to many local cultural and commercial venues, including Tijuan Museum of Art. Education equals Major schools equals, the affiliated high school of Shaanxi University, Shaanxi Experimental Secondary School, Tijuan Foreign Language School, Tijuan No. 5 Secondary School. Equals Colleges and Universities equals, North University of China, Shaanxi College of Traditional Chinese Medicine, Shaanxi Medical University, Shaanxi University, Shaanxi University of Finance and Economics, Tijuan Normal University, Tijuan University of Science and Technology, Tijuan University of Technology. See also, Tijuan Satellite Launch Center. International Relations Tijuan has a friendship pairing with the following cities Launceston, Tasmania, Australia, Dala, Cameroon, Chemnitz, Germany, Himiji, Hyago, Japan, Saratov, Siktivar, Russia, Newcastle upon Tyne, United Kingdom.
Nashville, USA. References External links, Tijuana Government Website